Axonnext allows you to record, organize, analyze and store video footage in an unlimited number of archives. An archive can be created on any local or network disk. Also, you can copy data between archives. To create an archive, go to the Archive tab. Afterwards, select whether you want to place the archive on a local or network disk. You can specify name and color for any particular archive. A local archive can be stored either as a file or partition. To create a local archive, check the boxes for each of the disks to be used for storage. On pre-formatted disks, the archive volumes are stored as files. Type in the file size in gigabytes or set it with a slider. Then, click on the Apply button to create the archive. The archive is now added to the system as a file on pre-formatted disk. On non-formatted disks, archive volumes can be stored as partitions. To delete the entire file system of any disk, you can use Microsoft Windows Standard Disk Management Utility. You have to delete the existing partition and create a new one, unformatted. The partition will be automatically formatted later by Axonnext. Select a volume represented as a partition, and check the formatting box to format the disk using the SolidStore, Axonsoft's proprietary file system. You will get a pop-up warning about formatting disks. Upon your confirmation, the partition will be formatted into SolidStore and ready to work. The local archive is now created. To create an archive on a network disk, click Create, then select Remote Archive Type. Remote archives are files located on one or multiple network attached storages. To set up a network archive, specify the path to the network storage. Then enter the login and password for this NAS. Please note, the login must be specified using the domain prefix or the name of the computer where this user account is located. When you sign in, you can see a dialog box for setting up your archive. Enter the file size in gigabytes, then click on the Apply button. The network archive is now created. In Axonext it is also possible to create an archive based on an existing file or volume. To add an existing archive volume, your computer's name and all camera IDs have to be exactly the same as name and IDs previously used with this volume. If these conditions are met, the newly created archive will preserve all previously recorded footage. Please note, if you check the formatting box, all archive entries currently stored on the volume will be erased. Click the Apply button. An existing archive file is now added to the system. Archives creation is now complete.